Hey guys, Chef Third Eye here. With Canna Fusion, I figured tonight I'll cook live with you. And since you've been watching me mince meat all day, figure out what the heck I'm doing with that. Um, I've got everything here. I took a picture of it, so I'll post it later of all the ingredients. And tonight I'm going to fix some pork fried rice. I had some, um, what you call it, some um, pork stew meat that I got from the store by mistake. So instead of holding on to it, I just went ahead and um, put it to use. I cut it up, took all the extra fat off of it, made it lean, and you know, started to think, what am I going to do with this meat? What do I want to do with this meat? And that we're cooking with, so I have. The meat here, which is the um, minced pork, and I seasoned it earlier, and I let it marinate, so it's been in there. I've got some peas, it's not frozen, and some carrots, so I'm gonna put that in very last so that it doesn't get mushy. I definitely have some cold rice from overnight that I have in here. I have the eggs as well, and then I have, just in case, some green onions. We'll see how that goes at the end, and then I have some onions, olive oil, salt, pepper, sesame oil, and some soy sauce. So I'm going to start by frying the egg. Sorry, I'm going to start by cancel, no, frying the egg first. I almost canceled a whole live video. So yeah, you see I'm trying to bang, multitask, and figure all this out. This is the pan I'm using. I don't have my wok here, so I'm using my stainless steel um, pot or um, frying pan, not quite a stock pot. So what I'm gonna do is put some oil in here first, just a little bit, cause I wanna fry the egg and you know, I can also get the ingredients to you. And I'm also um, ready to promote my can of spices. So check that out, I'm doing the pre-order on Friday. And um, let me get started with this stuff since the, egg, the uh, pan is a little medium, uh, what is it, medium hot. So I'm gonna put not even quite two tablespoons in here to just get that going. And as you can see, it's not quite that much. Put it around in the pan just enough so I can do something with this egg right quick on that. There we go. So now that I got this oil in here, and it's heat it up just right, I wanna put my egg in there first. There that is. So, boom. Got to fry this egg, turn the stove up a little bit. How you guys doing tonight? Thanks for joining me. See, rest in peace, Nip. Got my Nip covering up my hair. Can't have my hair all in the food and stuff, you know, that's not too kosher. And then um, self-made as always. You can definitely get these online at Canna Shop on my website, www.cannafusion.com. Definitely protect it. So I'm in here making some pork fried rice. There's my egg. I'm getting ready to pull it out right now. Put in my pork fried rice. So, there that is. And hi for those who just joined me. Put that to the side. All right, next thing I'm gonna put in here is my, let's see, let me clean my pan off. All right, I'm back. I wanted to wash that off. Definitely didn't want to have the egg residue in there burn and let that um get a little hot steam up but in the meantime let's talk about my book that i just self-published if you haven't please smoke life a beginner's guide you will be surprised what's all in it what it's about it's definitely been selling on amazon and on my website i definitely appreciate the love sooner or later i will have a smoke sesh read some from the book so that you can get a feel about what it's about if you're not really sure you know what i'm saying that you really you know tapped into the concept yet. Definitely more than willing to show you what it's about. So, um, pork fried rice. How many of us eat pork? You know, you can switch it up. It doesn't have to be pork. It can be chicken, it can be shrimp. It can be just uh, the veggies. It doesn't even have to be anything more than that. But I did finish cooking the egg. There it is. Boom. And that's gonna be a part of the rice. So the next thing I'm gonna throw up in here is a little more oil. And I'm going to start with about two tablespoons. And I am going to put the pork in there. Show you a little bit more of it close up. I think it came out really good. 
and that's definitely meant for it, so boom, there that is. And you hear that sizzle, so that's that good stuff. Turn that down to medium high. Then I want to put some onions in here too. Let that cook with my pork. Oh, that smells really, really good. You guys should be here to smell this pork. And then just some simple salt and pepper for now. Yes, and part of my marinade earlier, I added some, you know, seasoning to the pork. And right now that the pork is going on, you definitely want to, you know, stir it and make sure. Again, I'm going to pick this up, you know me. We're going to get into it. Yes, get into that pork. And onions for that pork fried rice. Oh, my, 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 it smells so good. And I feel good cooking in my own kitchen. Excited about these cooking classes we're about to get going. So. What I'm gonna do is actually let that cook and simmer for about a good five minutes so that the onions can get soft and it can just do its thing, umami. Isn't that what we call it? All right. In the meantime, we can have us some conversation. Talk about what's going on. Let me get the cover for this. first hey there if you're just joining me thanks for joining me getting into this pork fried rice who's cooked pork fried rice before if you haven't you know what i'm saying this is all good uh first time for everything we just went through the first steps of getting the eggs cooked now we're cooking the meat with the onions so you know i know there's been a lot going on with everybody i'm thankful for all those who made it into the new year with us Sorry for those who are losing loved ones. I definitely feel you with that one. Take care of yourself. Make sure that you know, you're know doing whatever it takes to um, take care of yourself before you can even take care of anyone else. And as well in saying that, definitely um, ramping that up. My base products and other products from the CBD Balm to help with any chronic you know, uh, topical pain to give you some base stuff to cook with from oils to butter and then um, adding a couple of new things, not too many. We're just gonna continue to get that menu out there. Excited about private chefing here, doing meal preps, you know, I'm available. I'm gonna put my calendar on the website. Definitely check me out. But, um, you know, just wanna make sure everybody's feeling good tonight because we know tomorrow's the whole inauguration. I know we all are nervous about that, but I say don't be, you know, Pray to whatever God that you choose to pray to and know that if you're about peace, you know, make sure your your circle's about peace and, and try not to by any means think that it's okay when you don't say nothing about racism because it's not. Um, it's just about as bad as being a racist. So those are the two extremes, I guess. And if you really care, you got to help your fellow man. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I got to say about that. Um, I'm excited about growing. I'm excited about getting my urban garden started. Excited about doing the Airbnb and just to have it so that smokers can come and relax. You know what I'm saying? And you can do your self-care getaway here. You're going to have a private chef on staff, a bartender on staff. And we're going to make it work. And we're going to make it do what it do, boo. Yeah. So, ooh, this pork is smelling so good. I wanted to stir it a little bit more. It's got about three more minutes left. Let me turn it up just a tad bit. I do a quality check too. How about that? There it is. See there? It's coming around, isn't it? And you see how it paid off to chop those things off really good? All right, let me um, get back into it. So while that's cooking, yeah, there's been some adversity for me recently, but you know what I'm saying, things happen. And, Worst things are happening to other people. I take it all this try. I really appreciate all the love, though. I really appreciate all the support, the calls, the texts, the DMs, the TL, you know, love. And uh, that's why I'm stepping it up to just make sure I show you the same back that I'm consistent as I can be. 
and continue to grow this brand with your help, you know what I'm saying, and just being consistent and getting my products out there to whoever needs them or wants them on their shelves or in their homes because, you know, we're a tribe. And in doing so, we gotta look out for each other and help each other grow any way we can. And I really do, I really do appreciate you guys. Um, you know what I'm saying? I don't say it every day and if I don't, you know, I'm saying it now. And a lot of times I say things about relationships and stuff. And it's just not all my personal experience, but for one, girl power, woman power, and women empowerment. Um, I come from that, you know, aspect. And then friends kind of sharing things with me, which I appreciate, which I will never, ever share with anyone else. But, you know, just trying to give friends support and trying to help the, our younger generation kind of grow up with respect, you know, the things you need from your partner and just to be loved because self-love is the first thing. You have to love yourself in order to love anyone else. And then from there, you know what I'm saying, you can, you know, love and I'm guilty. I've had to learn and I've done things. I've definitely screwed up. But <laughs> the older, the wiser, I promise you, and definitely, you know, just being patient for myself because I know I deserve the best. So no qualms with anyone, just really, you know, in a place of peace and just trying my best to heal and just look forward to all the exciting things, you know? That's why one minute things may not be so good, and then the next minute, look what happens. So you gotta wait and see. You know, suicide is never an option, how about it? So, um, ooh, definitely looks like, because what we're looking for now is the onions to um, soften up all the way. So we're about, I'd say, 85% there, which I'm very happy of. I'm gonna let that go for a little bit longer. Definitely car starting to caramelize, so I love that aspect of it. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see here. Now, I don't know, um, tell me, you know, if you've ever fixed uh, pork fried rice, what do you put in your pork fried rice? And um, what other variations do you know of, even if you don't fix it? Is that something you would like to see me cook? on our cooking class um, and tell me too in here like what things would you like for me to cook in a cooking class that would be awesome you know what i'm saying so let's get into it i'm going to show you how this looks now again you know me i do too much but there that is look at there yeah that's looking good right yeah i think so all right so now boom let me go ahead and move on to the next ingredient, which is the rice, which we have here in the bowl. And we just put on in there. And we want to put about two more tablespoons of oil. I would say definitely make sure it's on a medium high because it's a stir fry. And that was about two, there it is, a half. I had to put in there one and a half and get it right. Okay, so now that we got this in, we need to put a little bit of soy sauce. I like mine's a little soy. And then let me stir it around just a tad. There we go. There we go. Take out some of the plums. Mm -hmm. This is looking like I'm about to eat some good stuff tonight. Yeah. And guess what? I'm actually going to cut off the stove this time and not burn. Oh, if you had not heard about the fact that, you know, I burnt a whole pot the other day, but I retrieved it and I have that video to show you though. For those who make those mistakes, I was literally so tired from moving some things. I fell asleep. So now I'm gonna put the eggs in. And the reason I'm not putting the carrots and peas in just yet, because again, they're not frozen, so they don't need to cook that long at all. But these eggs, I need to break them up for more. And all my like utensils and stuff is not here, so bear with me on that note. I promise you. And then I'm gonna turn it here until I finish so you can really get a chance to see how it's looking. 
on this end. So that's that. Now I'm going to put the peas and carrots in. Boom, boom, boom. And, you know, stirring it. You know, you're, you see what I'm saying? Y'all stop playing with me. Okay. Don't be jealous hearted. This is what I do. This is what I do. All right. So now, I, I, I think I am. I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. You shouldn't do it. I am. You think, no, I don't. Oh, I am. Wow. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, y'all. Yeah. Throw a couple little green onions in there. You feel me? Yeah. So, I'm not even going to let this bean here too much longer. I'm going to cover it up about two or three more minutes. And then I am going to plate it. All right? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, I really appreciate you helping me get dinner together because it was necessary and needy. I'm going to turn down the stove. I told you I don't want to burn nothing else on a low, 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 low. So that I can, like, simmer all those can come together. Once I take it out, put a little sesame seed oil through it. And then guess what? we be ready to eat us some pork fried rice. All right. Next time, I may fix some jerk fried something. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But thank you for joining me, um, you know helping me make my dinner. And um, hope that I'll see you soon, all right? Next time, cook with me. All right, talk to you later. Oh, oh, I'm good. Mm, let's get into this for dinner. Cheers. Stay with me and stay medicated. It was worth it, trust me.